solving word problems in addition. Reading and solving some addition word problems can be a challenge for some students. Here are some helpful steps that can be used to make solving addition word problems easier. Step 1. Read. Read the problem for understanding. 2. Examine. Look for keywords or phrases. Determine what is asked and what information is given. 3. Underline. Underline the important facts. 4. Draw a picture if, you, if needed to help you to solve the problem. 5. Write. Write a statement and decide the number operation or strategy to be used. And 6. Solve. Solve the problem. Show your working. And 7. Evaluate. Ask yourself. Does my answer make sense? If not, try again. Now let's look at an example using these steps. Here we have our problem. A farmer had 24 cows, 215 sheep, 134 ducks, and 367 pigeons. How many animals does he have all together? So we have read our problem. So we have done our first step. You can read that problem at least three times to get a better understanding. So let's read it one more time. A farmer had 24 cows, 215 sheep, 124 ducks, and 367 pigeons. How many animals does he have all together? Now let's examine for keywords, information given, and what is required. Then we're going to underline the important facts. So here we have underline our keyword all together. And we also have our facts and what is required. So our facts. The farmer, he had 24 cows, 215 sheep, 124 ducks, and 367 pigeons. What is required? How many animals does he have? So we have to know how many animals does he have. And here's our clue all together. Four, let's draw the information. So here we have our information. Remember, we are required to find out how many animals does he have all together. So here we have the animals on the farm. So we have our 24 dogs, 24 cows, sorry, 215 sheep, 134 dogs, and our 367 pigeons. From that drawing, we can now move on to writing our statement. So, our drawing, we have our animals on the farm, and we have identified our animals. Now, our statement to help solve this problem. So, our statement from our drawing number of cows on the farm 24. Number of sheep on the farm, 215. Number of ducks on the farm, 134. Number of pigeons on the farm, 367. What are we required to find out? The number of animals on the farm all together. That word all together is clue word. What are those terms that are used for addition? So now we're going to solve. Now since I must calculate using that keyword altogether, calculate the total number of animals he had on the farm, I must add. 
So we're going to add when we add our cows or sheep, ducks, pigeons, we got a total of 740 animals on the farm altogether. So let's move on to our last step where we evaluate by asking if my answer makes sense. Now let's try another example. Thomas picked 275 oranges, 450 grapefruits, and 300 mangoes from his estate. What was the total number of fruits picked? Now, we read the problem. Let's read it one more time. Thomas picked 275 oranges, 450 grapefruits, and 300 mangoes from his estate. What was the total number of fruits picked? So we identify and underline keywords and important facts. Remember the information given, what we required to find, and so on. Then, as I said, we identified what is required. What was the total number of fruits picked? Now let's draw our facts given. So here we have our facts. Fruits picked. 275 oranges, our 450 grapefruits, and our 300 mangoes. So using our drawn facts, let's move on to our statements, where we have our number of oranges, 275, our number of grapefruits, we have 450, our number of mangoes, 300, and what are we required to find? The total number of fruits picked. Now from that word total, we can decide on the operation to be used and solve the problem. Total is an indicator that we have to add. So let's add. When we add, we got 1025 total number of fruits picked. Then we're going to evaluate our answer to make sure that it's correct. So let's go over the tips. Remember when solving word problems, remember to read the problem, examine for keywords, information given and what is required, underline the important facts, draw the information, write a statement solve the problem and make sure to show you're working for that's how it's going to help when you are evaluating your answer you can always go back to your working and make corrections where necessary